We're pretty excited about some weight loss data that we recently were able to analyze uh, from HealthSnap's RPM patients. We specifically looked at patients who had a diagnosis of obesity with a care plan goal of weight loss, as opposed to uh, patients that were given a scale for the purpose of monitoring for heart failure. So these patients, around 1,600 of them, did not have a concurrent diagnosis of heart failure and the use of the scale and the care plan involved and the coordination with their clinical care navigator had everything to do with helping these patients achieve meaningful, clinically relevant weight loss. You know, as a major outcome, when we try to gauge the efficacy of a weight loss program, we want to see patients shoot for at least a 5% decrease in their body weight and achieve that long term because a 5 to 10% drop in body weight is well documented by the evidence to help improve blood lipids, low bl lower blood sugar, lower blood pressure, and a whole um, uh, variety of cardiometabolic parameters improve when a patient loses 5 to 10% of her or his body weight. So very pleased to report in looking at these data, um, the patients achieved 35 to 40% of them achieved at least a 5% decrease in their body weight. The gray bar represents patients transmitting data uh, just one to two times a week, the orange bar four to five, and the red bar six to seven days a week. Of course, the level of engagement could have just been a correlation with the motivation of the patient. But um, either way, 35 to 40% roughly of the patient population were able to achieve a 5% decrease in their body weight. And then we had um, right around 20% of the patients achieve 10% decrease in body weight. You know, another thing we were excited to see is that the patients showed a clinically meaningful from a sustainability um, perspective, gradual decrease in body weight over time. We didn't see a rapid drop in body weight that le usually leads to a rapid weight regain. This was much more likely to be achievable for the long term, given the fact that the patients lost weight gradually while on the program when we followed this cohort over the several months on the program. You know, although anecdotal, whenever we see patient improvements, of course, we like to survey patients and ask them, what do they feel um, happen to be some of the reasons responsible for the improvements that they were able to attain? And we hear time and time again that patients feel through an RPM program more connected to their provider, so they get a greater sense of security through that connection to their provider and their care team. We also find the patients say that the feedback they get on the data and the regular like, seeing the data helps improve their self-efficacy. Um, they don't always use that terminology, but they say that it feels like it empowers them. They feel like they have more control over their condition, which is important because we know that whenever a patient increases self-efficacy, that usually results in better health, uh, health outcomes and overall uh, quality of life. And then nearly 80% of patients changed their lifestyle. And among those, nearly 90% said that the improvement was largely attributed to these changes in lifestyle. Thank <laughs> you.